Namaskar and good evening. <clears throat> Today we'll take a look at Tanfac Industries Limited. <clears throat> Tanfac Industries Limited manufactures chemicals such as aluminium fluoride and uh, anhydrous hydrogen fluoride. It also manufactures sulfuric acid, oleum and specialty fluorides. So, uh, many other things are also there. The, these are fluorine based chemicals used in aluminium smelting, petroleum refining, refrigerant gases, steel re-rolling, glass, ceramics, sugar, fertilizers, heavy water, etc. Some specialty chemicals are also used as intermediates in the manufacture of pharmaceutical drugs and agrochemicals. <coughs> so it manufactures inorganic chemicals, many of them. I already mentioned aluminum fluoride and hydrous, uh, hydrofluoric acid and so on. Then specialty inorganic fluorides like ammonium bifluoride, cryolite, fluoboric acid and so on. <coughs> then some specialty fine chemicals. Uh, HF uh, pyridine complex, tetrabutyl ammonia, and so on. <coughs> Management uh, consists of VT Murthy, MR Shivaraman, Shankar Narasimhan, and so on. So many directors are there. Business head is uh, Kalyandram Madabhushi. Kalyandram Madabhushi. He is the business head. President and CEO is uh, CEO. He is Sendil Nathan. CFO is NR Ravichandran. We'll take a look at the chairman's message dated 28-9-2020 in uh, connection with the annual report. So he says, uh, your company has registered very good performance during the year, that is uh, 2020 year, uh, which is the highest uh, in the history. <coughs> it was achieved despite the absence of uh, spot opportunities and tailwinds that uh, had helped it to register an all-time high uh, performance during the previous year. Previous year was supposed to be very good. And despite the absence of uh, spot opportunities and tailwinds of that year, this year also we have performed well. That's what he says. <coughs> then lockdown came. Uh, and uh, so initially so probably some closure etc were there and then they got a special consent from the Kadalur district administration and restarted the plans from 8th of April <coughs> and gradually improved the operations in the first quarter. So the company registered good performance uh, in 2019-20, the highest, second highest in the history, that's what it says. Uh, it recorded EBITDA, net profit and total comprehensive income of 27.10 crores, 16. EBITDA is 27.1 uh, crores, net profit is 16.97 crores and comprehensive income is 17.28 crores. <coughs> Sales of course have decreased by 26% from 222 crores to 165 crores. Uh, mainly due to reduction in sales and price of uh, sulfuric acid. It was partly compensated by higher sales realization on, uh, in HF uh, acid uh, due to continuous focus on value added segments, etc. <clears throat> so, profitability had improved significantly due to initiatives taken uh, like uh, focusing on uh, value added products and optimization of uh, uh, products, uh, product mix and uh, customer mix. So tight control on working capital also uh, helped and they have repaid all debts. So now it is almost debt free. Uh, the finance cost has come down uh, very drastically from 3.04 crores uh, to 0.84 crores. <coughs> it is almost uh, a debt free status. Then uh, com coming to Q1 performance despite again challenging circumstances due to lockdown. Company posted 28 crores turnover, EBITDA 5 crores, uh, <coughs> previous uh, was uh, 32 crores, 32 crores to 28 crores less, EBITDA was uh, 4 crores, uh, so like that. 
फोर्थ फोर्थ क्वार्टर एबिटा वॉज फोर क्रोर्स बैट फर्स्ट क्वार्टर फाइव क्रोर्स इट वॉज अचीव इंप्रूवड एबिटा डिस्पाइट रिडक्शन इन टर्न ओवर एबिटा इंक्रीज ड्यू टू रिडक्शन इन फिक्सड कास्ट अंड वैल्यू एडेड प्रोडक्ट्स सो दट इज द फोकस नव आलो सो फो इन फ्यूचर आलो इट देर विल कस्टमर ओरएंटेशन कास्ट आप्टिमेशन प्रॉडक्ट डेवलपमेंट इंट्रडक्शन आफ वैल्यू एडेड प्रॉडक्ट्स एंड सो आ so uh, they are uh, uh, having hopes for uh, uh, improved performance in the coming quarters now let us take a look at uh, uh, second quarter in the second quarter net sales are 34.29 crores against 27.25 crores in the previous quarter and 36.48 in the year ago quarter so compared to year ago quarter there is a, a degrowth of 6% 36 crores to 34 crores so there is a reduction 6% but compared to previous quarter 27 crores 28 crores to 34 crores there is a improvement of 24% now net profit is 4.74 crores in q2 q1 2.58 crores Q4, Q2 of last year was just 1.58 crores. So net profit has improved considerably in, in all the last five quarters. This is the highest. So year on year there is a growth of 200 percent in uh, net profit. It is from 1.58 crores to 4.14 crores, 200 percent in improvement in net profit. Sales have not gone up uh, like that, but uh, net profit has gone up by 200 percent. And 83.72 percent compared to previous quarter. Previous quarter was 2.58 crores only. Current quarter is 4.74 crores. So quarter on quarter also about 84 percent. Year on year 200 percent improvement. It profit margins have improved very well. So that's why I have taken up the tan pack. <coughs> Equity share capital is 9.98 crores. Uh, basic EPS also 4.76 has gone up by 201 percent year on year and 84 percent quarter on quarter. So uh, sales uh, have not improved very well, but uh, net profits have improved very very well. Hopefully Q3 will be uh, much better. Market price is around 180. Price earning. Uh, Uh, on a face value of 10 rupees is 9.45 not high but not low volumes are uh, very low 8983 it is not traded on nse for the last 30 days it is being traded only on bse this is one point you have to note if, uh, if it is less than 10000 generally i feel the volumes of transactions are less now wa- that volume has to improve keep a watch on that before you make a purchase you can perhaps purchase but selling will be a problem if the volume of transactions is less 52 week low is uh, 63 and 52 week high is 223 uh, in between 180 is the current price technical analysis uh, short term very bearish daily and weekly is very bearish monthly is somewhat bullish <coughs> because uh, results are Uh, slightly favorable sales uh, uh, <coughs> so quarterly we have seen now let us also look at the historical prices currently it is at around 180 hmm? three years before it was 105 two years before 280 two years before if you had purchased you, you would have purchased at around 280 now it is 180 one year before 116 Three months we were two hundred and eleven. One month ago one hundred and sixty-seven. One week ago one seventy-four. Now one eighty. So you have seen uh, the quad, the uh, price earning ratio is around nine. Uh, so price earning ratio can help in moving the price up, provided Q three results are better. now profit margins have improved very well but not sales let us look for improvement in sales also in fact is good if sales improve 
annual uh, results for the last five years, if you see that there has not been any improvement in the last year. See, uh, March uh, uh, 2016 year, 133, then 126, then 161, uh, and March 2019, 221, 221. The next year, March 2020, latest year, 164 crores only. So, sales have to improve. Now, uh, uh, <coughs> unless sales improve, we don't get that uh, feel. Um, so, the profit, net profit was uh, 16 crores uh, in the pre uh, last year. Its previous year, 35 crores. Uh, yeah, prior to that, very low. So, we have to watch out for improvement in uh, Q3 at least. Now, cash flows, Q2 is, uh, profit is good. Q3, we will have to watch out. Cash flows, if you see that uh, net cash flow is zero. Operating cash flow is 21. Investing activity is uh, there to some extent it is there. Uh, minus 9. Financing activity is minus 12. Net cash flow is 0. So, other ratios. Uh, gross profit uh, margin 16 point last year. We are talking of last year. Gross profit margin 16.44. Not bad. Operating profit margin 13.63. Net profit margin 10.63. 2.9, these are okay. Uh, <clears throat> I am not going to deal with other uh, ratios because, uh, you know, uh, we are more concerned with the present. Q2 is reasonably good. We want Q3 to uh, be better. Uh, net profit has increased. Net profit margin has increased. Uh, debt is very low. Book value has been improving. Promoter split is zero. Costs are growing. Of course, investment is there. Now, whether that investment will generate profits very quickly, that we will have to see. <coughs> so, uh, th this is what uh, Tanfac Industries is all about. It has good products, but it has to sell well uh, within India and outside India. <coughs> if it does that, it can definitely go up. Uh, but uh, watch out for Q3 results. If Q3 uh, sales improve, well, I, um, I look for two things. Sales improvement must be there. Net profit improvement is there. Tan fact, net profit improvement is there. Sales improvement is not there. Sales improvement also should be there. Then Tan fact industries becomes very attractive. Thanks a lot for listening. But it is a good company worth watching. If Q3 is good, uh, I think it will become an investable company. <clears throat> At present, uh, it is a chance. Thank you for listening.